In this video, we're going to look at how easy it is to build your first Power App Canvas application. Now, we're going to do this to solve some particular business challenge that you might want some help from an app to help you solve. Now, there's a number of ways that you can go about doing that. For example, you can go to make.powerapps.com and go to create, and you have some common data sources. Maybe you have an Excel file that has some data in it that you want to create an app on. There are a number of templates, if you scroll down here, that you can use as starting points. So maybe you need a budget tracker. You could use this as a starting point and then just make your own changes to it. We're actually going to do something a little bit easier. We're going to just simply describe to the application framework what we want to build and have it use AI to help us build that application. You'll notice they give some examples. Collect RSVPs, track sales leads, and it's just giving that as the idea. Well, I'm going to follow that, but I'm going to step a little bit outside these ones that they give you, and I'm going to ask it to create something to attract my real estate investment properties. So I'm going to go ahead and tell it to start with that. Now what it's done is it's gone ahead and said, great, you want to track real estate investment properties? I'm going to create a data table in Dataverse. That's the data storage engine for Power Platform to track that data. Now, it's come up with some columns that it thinks are appropriate for a real estate application. And you'll see that if we scroll over here, there's a few more columns, sales, price. And if there were any that we didn't want to have on there, we could simply remove them. We can rename columns. So for example, I don't want price to be price. I want to change it to, well, we'll call it original cost. And we'll go ahead and change that. We can see that that has now changed to original cost. I want to add a column, market value. And see, I'm just using these English words to explain what I want to do, and it's making the changes. Now, I'm previewing it, and it's created some test data for those columns that it thinks are appropriate. There we have our market value. I can also ask it to give me some suggestions. And so it suggested add a rent column, rent due, term column, lease start, lease end. Maybe I want to remove the address column or get more suggestions. So I could keep doing this to refine it. You can also go in and manually edit the table properties. And once you're ready, you can go ahead and say create the application. Now at this point, I have a fully functional application. In fact, I can go ahead and run the application. I can click between the different properties. I can click new. It would allow me to add a new property. I could go in to one of the properties that I have and delete, and you can edit. So you have a fully functional application, and that's the nice thing about being able to describe the idea that you're trying to build and having it just build that for you. But it doesn't end there because you can obviously go in and make some additional changes to the application. You can do that by selecting the fields on there. So maybe I don't want to show, you know, Power Apps and Dataverse support multi-currency, but I'm not going to want to show the base currency. So I'm going to remove those from my form and I'm going to remove all the, the base fields for that. You can also make additional changes. So in fact, I'm going to go ahead and turn on Copilot again because Copilot's going to help me, and I want to add a screen to show a map of all the properties that I have in my data store. So I'm going to just simply say, add a new screen named Property Map, and we'll let Copilot go take care of that task for me. Sometimes you have to ask Copilot a couple times, but usually Copilot listens the first time. Anyway, it's, t it's added the screen. It gives me the chance to undo it, so if I didn't like what it added or the change that it made to the application, I can simply undo that. And what I've got now is a new screen, and I'm going to come up to the insert, and I want to go ahead and put a map on. So I'm going to go to Media and choose Map. I'm going to select my table that I'm storing my property data in. I'm going to go ahead and make this a little bit bigger. I actually need to get the names of my fields, so I'm going to come back over here to the address field, edit our fields, we'll go to the address, CR7D4 underscore address, so now that's what I want to tell my map to use. Go to map, give it the name of my address field, and that allows it to actually map and put the fields on the, the map in the right location. Now what I want to do is I want to add a button to get back from here, so let's just simply ask Copilot to add a button for us, keep it simple. And you can always make changes 
manually you don't have to rely on copilot for everything we can just say this is the back button and we can go back to our main screen same thing I want to add a button to navigate to the map screen. Just simply ask Copilot because it's a little easier for Copilot to take care of this for me. We got our map button. I'm going to move that down to here. I can go ahead and save my app and publish it and it's ready to use. Now if I actually were to go play this, you now have the ability to create the new properties, edit the properties just like we saw before. But we also changed, we removed the fields from here and we also can go to the map screen. It'll map the properties and see we've got two here and two there and one up here. And we also have our, our back button that we can go back to the application. So that's how easy it is to take a concept that you want to build an application for and build a Power App Canvas app.